Hey guys, Smoker here. Today's show, all about grenades. We're gonna go over the correct terminology for grenades, why you wanna have them on the field with you, and the throwing techniques for grenades. Today, on Airsoft Riot. Frag out! Okay guys, let's go over why you might want to have grenades with you on the field. Now, first of all, grenades are not secondary weapons. So what a grenade is used for is to get somebody out who maybe you've been engaging them, they're standing behind hard cover, you can't get them. Uh, maybe you're at a stalemate. Or you have a group of individuals who've been trying to you know, shoot you out, you might be the last one on your team still in the game. And so that would be a good time to have a grenade with you. Now, what you just want to make sure of is that your grenade is thrown within a 15 foot radius and that it passes that hard cover or else they won't be out. Uh, now let's go over some of the throwing techniques for grenades. Okay guys, first things first, observe the target to mentally establish the distance between the throwing position and the target area. Grip the hand grenade in the throwing hand. Grasp the pole ring with the index or middle finger of the non-throwing hand. Remove the safety pin with a pulling and twisting motion. If the tactical situation permits, observe the safety pin's removal. Assume a natural stance with the weight balanced equally on both feet. Hold the grenade shoulder high and hold the non-throwing hand at a 45 degree angle with the fingers and thumb extended, joined and pointed toward the intended target. Look at the target and throw the grenade using the overhand method so the grenade arcs, landing on or near the target. Allow the motion of the throwing arm to continue naturally once the grenade is released. This follow through improves distance and accuracy and lessens the strain on the throwing arm. Observe the target to mentally estimate the throwing distance. Using the proper grip, arm the grenade while behind cover. Hold the grenade shoulder high and bend the non-throwing knee at a 90 degree angle, placing that knee on the ground. Keep the throwing leg straight and locked with the side of the boot firmly on the ground. Move the body to face sideways towards the target position. Keep the non-throwing hand at a 45 degree angle with the fingers and thumb extended, joined, and pointed toward the enemy. Throw the grenade with a natural throwing motion. Push off with the throwing foot to give added force to the throw. Follow through with the throwing arm as described before. Lie down on the back with the body parallel to the grenade's intended line of flight. Hold the grenade at chin chest level and remove the safety pins. Cock the throwing leg at a 45 degree angle, maintaining knee to knee contact and bracing the side of the boot firmly on the ground. Hold the grenade four to six inches behind the ear with the arm cocked for throwing. In throwing the grenade, push off with the rearward foot to give added force to the throw. Do not lift the head or body when attempting to throw the grenade as this causes exposure to direct enemy fire. Okay guys, we just wanted to go over something real quick before the show's over. Uh, a lot of guys will say grenade when throwing their grenades. They'll just look at their target and they'll yell grenade. Uh, the correct terminology for that is actually frag out. You want to make sure that you yell loud enough so that all your teammates around you can hear you so that they can get down and they don't get caught by that grenade. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's episode. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and please check out our other videos. Thanks for joining us today on Airsoft Ride. Out.